Hey YouTube, Mike here. How we doing today? Hope we all had a good two weeks. Uh, last week I was just extremely under the weather. Uh, couldn't even really get off the couch. So, uh, but I'm up and around. All right, um, got a couple of things I want to cover today. Uh, the um, I'd like to thank all of the views, the questions, and the sales that um, tools the battery holders um, have uh, done so far, and I hope you're using my name for the 10% discount. I uh, want to give you an update on, uh, it's been two weeks now. Um, okay, I have two of the uh, drill holders mounted in the truck. I have two of my uh, Milwaukee drills. Only one has fallen out, and most likely is because of the air, the where I was driving and how bouncy the truck was. Because once we, I got into this, this like rutted area, one of the drills fell out. But other than that, it has stayed, they have stayed in there perfectly. And one's an impact and one is a half inch, uh, kind of like the Magnum drill. And we have seven battery holders and they have worked out perfectly. Not one has, has we, we go in the back and we kind of like test them and push them None of, and I have three mounted, you know, like that, where they're under the shelf, and then I have one mounted this way, up against the shelf that I keep all my screws with the viewtainer. So I'm trying to, I kind of test them two different ways, and they have it moved. And it's such a pleasure just to go in the back of the truck and slide these things out. Um, and then we kind of, what we do is we, uh, we, we then place them in a, a sustainer when they have to be charged or just put them back up in the charger but we only have two spots for the charger and sometimes we're down to like you know four batteries we'll use. I'm going to figure something out um, to kind of like let us know what we're, we're going to put a little tape on and start writing stuff. We'll kind of figure something out but so far they've worked flawlessly. Um, okay. Uh, the second, second thing is I finally received um, all of, and I, I'm kind of a little weird like this. You, you saw when I first showed the um, Weira tools that I purchased, um, the Allen key sets, and uh, either put with the RC stuff or it's there on my truck, and the screwdrivers are all around, like you know, right here and over there in my toolbox. But the service tools that are going to go in my Vita Pro bags, I don't like to put anything in there until I get everything. So then I can lay the bag out and and place them all in uh, um, the, the bag where I want. Now, this is now, as you can see, this is now my complete set of what, and, you know, these are a couple extra battery holders that I've had. Um, I'm going to probably do something up here with some more of the drills. Uh, excuse me, tool holders, but all the battery holders so far. But I did ask him to get a couple of more in. Oh, also, one other thing with the, bat, uh, with the tool and battery holder. Um, he has them for rigid. I forgot to mention that. And he um, most likely has purchased a Festool battery so he can start um, uh, doing a computer model on the Festool battery. And I know he's going with Bosch and I, he's going with uh, Makita. I don't think he's going to be doing Ryobi right away. He's also coming out with a Kevlar reinforced one and an aluminum one. And I will have them to show on the channel once he gets them done. All right, so now the Weira tools. What did I get? Well, I'm going to be using them for, t most of them are going into my main service bag that I service for the Renai, and other ones going to go in my small other bags. So what I purchased here, and these are 300 millimeter, these are the long um, Weira screwdrivers. I have a red number two and a white number two, and then I have a 5.5 regular. One, the actual red one, is going to go in my service bag because I do need a long reach to get to the back of the tanklesses. And with the, the way the tip is, it'll help me to grab those screws to take out the heat exchangers. These, I'm going to act, this one I'm actually going to use because the new style faucets, instead of having a large nut that you make up with a, with a basin wrench, this, you, once you make it up, you tighten two screws up and it pushes a plate up to the bottom of the granite or marble and that tightens it down. And right now I'm using one of those big Milwaukee, but it, some of the screws are smaller and, and they jump, and I'm, I've been stripping them. 
and these will work perfectly. And then I, I needed a regular, and these are all uh, they're 300 millimeter. All right, this I picked up. This is their um, 392, one 180 quarter inch. It's 180 millimeter. They have flexible screwdriver. Now, I don't need to be making 90 degree turns with what I need is just a slight angle to get away from certain of the gas valves. And this will work perfectly. I have tested this one so far. <clears throat> and it, to accompany it, I picked up the uh, BC7 uh, small bit holder. And it comes with two number ones, three number twos, one number three, and an extension. And it's the same way where the extension has the lockable where you just push it in, it locks, then you pick it up forward and it'll jump out. But with the this extension, uh, w excuse me, with the uh, flexible bit, you have to pull it up to let it fall in and then pull it back up to pull it out. So basically it stays in there pretty tight and it works perfectly for my application. Um, using it, I'll probably use it maybe once a month uh, I very rarely have to change the part that I need this on, but it will be a great help when I have it. Okay. For the years I've been doing this, with doing these services, I've always needed to get a Torx screwdriver. And I looked at Snap-on, and I, I looked at a couple of other brands, and they're hundreds of dollars. So I picked up this Torx screwdriver, which is the 7461 and it goes from 1.2 nm it's like newton meter to uh, 3 newton meter i need the 1.2 converting i did the conversion um, and that's why i purchased this and this one here was under a hundred dollars it doesn't come with bits it just comes with the case Inside here it comes with the and you change it by removing the back cap and they give you a whole load of extra caps So that you can change it if when you mar them and This works out to be just under 11 inch pounds and that's exactly what I need um, To be making up the screws and there's there's about 18 screws that I have to Make up when I'm putting the burner plate back in and just to give you a little example, I did a little test here. And this one again has the lock in there where you just push it up and it, it will relock. So I put this screw in here. That's, it's 10.89 inch pounds. I need 11. I think, I think I'm close. And to take it out, it's very easy to take out. Now, with this very smooth handle, if you want a little extra turn, you can put your finger on the front, which will then give you that little extra movement here. And then once you get to the uh, almost around 11 inch pounds, you'll get the actual torque. And that works out perfect for me. Again, they all come with the little uh, belt loop and then the Velcro if you want to stick it somewhere on the truck. What I'm going to be doing here now, like I said, these boxes are beautiful. I, I don't want, I'm not going to throw the boxes out, so I kept the um, <clears throat> saw stop riser, um, the lift, and I'm just going to put the boxes in as I take them out now. Okay, you all saw the little mini screwdriver set. All right, it's, uh, what is that, three, six, nine, it's 12 piece. There's only 11 pieces in here. My new radio control truck, it's called the Mammoth. It's eight wheel drive, four wheel steering. It's got all working compartments with these minuscule, it's like 1.1 millimeter screws. And there's a Phillips bit in here, Phillips screwdriver, perfect, magnetized, spins one-handed while I hold this tiny little, it's like 1.3 millimeter hinge. And I gotta put four screws in each. What a perfect thing this is. So, and I mean, I don't need it that small, but I'm just gonna leave it with my stuff inside and this will go on in my service bag. Again, another one, Velcro, it's got the Velcro pad in here. 
all instructions. And this is, uh, it's a tw yeah, 12 piece set, and it's the Craft Foam Micro 12 piece set. All right, this one also you saw, this is the, what's the number here? Oh, let's see a number. Well, it's the, it's the Tool Check Plus quarter inch. It has um, a belt clip, but it fits perfectly on the front um, ruler holder on the Vetipro bags. It's, the, it's got the quarter, quarter inch screwdriver, quarter inch ratchet extension. It has, you just flip that little lock right there up. And then it has the even the um, uh, secure bits, Torx, screw, adapter, Allen, and then it has 5.5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13 millimeter sockets, which adapt with this adapter. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, yes. I bought, I like these. This is their ratcheting angle screwdriver it has bit holder and then and then that's how you change the ratchet pop it out and everything stores nice and neat right in the handle and it's it doesn't this one does not adjust so it stays at oh, what would you say that was probably 80 to 75, 70, 75 degrees, something like that. And again, it comes with a holder, no Velcro, just a regular belt loop. I mean, I really wish I found these. I, I knew about them, but I didn't know how heavy they were into service. I'll show you that one last. Okay, this is the KK40. I have two different ones of these. Here's the other one with the extension. Those are the, actually, I'm sorry. I have two different ones with that. With the long bit, number two, number three, number four, two regular. It's the long extension. No Velcro, just a belt loop. All of these are staying in the cases, and they're going to go right in my bed. Actually, pretty much everything here, besides a couple of other Milwaukee stuff, that I'll need to put in my bag. Then I have this one, which I showed you before. Again, the Velcro. And this one is the extendable one with the bits in the handle. Same, same amount of bits. I know I'll have a bunch of extra bits in there, but, all right. I know we went through this last time. There we go, we gotta push it all the way down. So up, locks, and then you just gotta give it all, it's gotta go all the way down to the black. All right, finally got my rollers in. All right, this is all new. This is the KK60, which is more so one's going to go in my small service, one will go in my large service, because this has all the Torx bits, Phillips bits, and a couple of regular bits. Works the exact same way. Again, it's got the Velcro if you want to Velcro it onto a wall. All right. Here is the KK Zolop Speed. The Velcro stuck on. So this one is their movable ratchet. That's, and then that's your forward and reverse back there or, or, or on and off. But this actually will spin, so you can use it. It locks in that position. That and that. And then it has 
It has a, a long extension. Again, 5.5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13 millimeter. Uh, it has the an adapter bit that you can adapt. That's your release button back there. So you, that's how it releases everything. And if you want to now put, say, a screwdriver bit in, now you have a screwdriver or a screwdriver. And then you push the button to release that. And then the last thing which I run into a ton of these pro this problem. On older equipment, the millimeter um, bolts, sometimes they, they come out all rusty, and there is an array of M bits. So this is a tap set. It goes from M3 to M10. So M3, it's a hard plastic case to M10, and it has an adapter bit inside of it to be put into the, the screwdriver. It's a hard plastic case. There is a provision if I guess they sell a, some type of a belt clip, but this thing will be a lifesaver for me when I'm done. Uh, when I when I actually not done when I need it. So that's all my new Weira toys, and now. I can put them in my service bag. All right, let's uh, take a look at the saw stop, the router table. The next project is going to be, let me just take this over here. We're going to be using the router table to make some uh, holders, but I received from Jessam, the rubber wheels which um, deformed in the heat. So they sent, I bought, and they're the same wheels. Oh, just to let you know, the, the Jessam uh, one way feed for the uh, table saw. So these are I, exactly the same as these. So you do not have to, if you're going to order them and need them, um, I think they were 13. Thirteen forty-nine uh, for uh, you know a set of four. Um, it's the it's the same for both ways. So I got them on, and I got them ready. Now, just to let you know, when they deform, they come off real easy. They come off almost like bubble gum. To put these on, I don't recommend putting any lubricant because you don't want any lubricant on this. Remember, they're one-way bearings. And you want this thing to prevent from going back. See, remember, it's feeding this way, but you want to prevent them from going back. The way I did it was I removed this Allen screw, wiggled off the bearing, then rolled this one on first, then from the back side, rolled this one on. So you see it, there's two here, so I rolled this one on. Actually, you can leave this on and roll this one on, then remove it, and then roll this one on because you'll never get it you know if you ever put o-rings on you put the first o-ring and then you let the other o-ring roll over that one to the next one huh you ain't doing it with this you'll deform it so that's how i would recommend doing it taking this off and it's not it's to just snug on there and roll it from the back and that's your best way to do it so now i have a whole another two sets of these three these are nice and tucked remember with the three quarters of an inch so now this gets tucked, and then when you need it, you just loosen it, turn it up, get it down, size it to here, and then the rest will work on the spring tension. When you're not le needing it, tuck it right into its place. This thing here, it won't tuck, because this one here adjusts with these two right here. See how it drops? You get it to where you want it, you lock your first one down, then you lock your back one, and then when you come through, it'll push the board 
right up to the fence. And then when you want to take it out of the way, if you don't need it, you have plenty of room because it's right, it's above, it's like right almost even with the channel. So you're way above. And then if not, you loosen these and slide them right off the track. All right, well, I guess you see, that's my new car. That's actually a Losi. It has four wheel drive, there's the other one. And that's the body back there and the tires. So I've been fussing with that. All right, let's get this thing back up here. Try not to drop it. There we go. All right. All right, YouTube. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the new toys. I know I certainly will. Uh, probably won't get a service for like a month now since, uh, since I got them all. I had a ton of service, but like I said, I'm finicky when it comes. I like to have everything because I don't want to be starting something that all of a sudden I'm like, oh, God, I wish that other piece came in. So using what I have and this hopefully now will make it real easy for me, especially the taps. I run that. I run into a ton of, you know, threads that I need to run over. All right. Um, my uh, email will be below for anybody that has a question or wants a Mike's Woodshop sticker. And um, again, I'd like to thank you all the years for the subscribes, all of the likes, all of the comments, all of the emails, and uh, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Next video will be a build of which we're going to be using pretty much the router table for almost the whole thing. I want to build this um, kind of almost, it's like a partition thing I'm using for my models, but you can store sandpaper in it. You can store, you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. It's kind of like little compartments, 12 inches tall, 6 inches wide, and it's made to put uh, stuff inside of it that I can just grab it instead of having to sit around. And you could pretty much use it for everything. All right, YouTube, um, you all be safe out there, and I will see you on the next video. Oh, and um, to all your mothers and your wives, your children, uh, please wish them a very happy and healthy Mother's Day tomorrow. Okay? I'll see you on the next video. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.